Hello everyone, Reza here. In this video, I will show you how to easily build dashboard screens in Power Apps. We will leverage the power of generative pages that will enable us to build interactive charts with animations and a lot more. Gen Pages is now powered with GPT-5, better quality, improved performance. So let's check this video out in action. I have a power app that is showcasing data from a table that stores help desk ticket details. This is showcasing the standard view experience. And I would like to build a dashboard in my app that helps users monitor, visualize, and search for tickets at a glance. This includes total ticket counts, open tickets, and other data aggregation metrics. We also have visualizations that showcase tickets by category, ticket trends in the last six months, ticket status distribution, plus a table that shows data from my tickets table. Users can search for information. These charts have animations, they are interactive. Let's click on software category. The tickets table gets the filter applied based upon the selection that I made in the chart. We can build a dashboard screen similar to this by simply prompting our app agent. Here's my model driven power app. I'll go and add a page by simply describing my needs. First up, I'll give it context to my, my help desk ticket table. I've added my description, build a dashboard UI for data from my help desk ticket table. Show key KPIs at the top, total tickets, open tickets, close tickets. Add those three charts, bar chart, line chart, and then include a table listing out certain metadata from my tickets table. Once I'm done describing, I'll click generate. This is where Gen AI springs into action and starts building out a React page based upon the details that I provided. It's well aware of the context of my data set that I provided. I asked it to build me a dashboard screen for charts, visualizations. It uses the D3 library, which is designed for producing dynamic interactive data visualizations. It heavily uses SVGs. You can see how the entire React code is being framed by the app agent. It generated a React based page. We can explore the code of this page. You can see how it uses the D3 library to generate the visualizations. Please note, the code at this moment is read only. In future, we will have the option to edit the code. Back to preview. Let's keep prompting the app agent. Style my dashboard based on my company's brand standards. Create a professional dashboard theme using a dark background. I'm being specific with the color code with primary colors, secondary accent colors, overstates, card styles, and more. I'll hit send. The app agent will regenerate the page with the updated code. And the app agent has made the updates. You can see the overstates, the theme colors, all described by me to the agent. The charts. Let's add some animations to it. Make the charts come to life with smooth, quick animations. Bar charts should grow from the bottom up when they appear. Lines should draw themselves across the chart from left to right and more. You can get very specific with the kind of animations and transitions 
you would like to have. Once again, I'll ask the app agent to generate the React page. The app agent has made the updates, added the animations, the hover effects. We can save, publish, and play the app. Here is my dashboard screen in the model app. With the chart experience here, we can also make it interactive, meaning when the user clicks or selects a part of a chart, it should filter the tickets table to only show the tickets that match that chart selection. Let's ask the app agent to do that for us. The updates are made. Let's look at the 59 hardware tickets. Interactive. It applies the filter on the tickets list and it lists out all the hardware tickets. You can keep describing the updates you need to your app agent. Add a simple toggle to switch between dark mode, light mode. I hit submit and it begins the magic. On similar lines, this dashboard that I built, I've added that toggle switch on the top right. When the user selects, you can see how the theme of the dashboard changes. If you enjoyed this video, then do like, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And thank you so much for watching.